that. So, what's going on, bro? What's going on, my yeah, my nigga, my nigga. Been a long time since we seen each other. That's true. Yeah. So, what's the word, dog? Come on, let's start. Come on. We've been recording this whole time? Yeah. It's, All right, well, we since we're recording, well, since we're doing the interview, tell me. Since we, you know, we've never met anybody on here, tell us about you. Tell us about Eric's tour. What makes Eric's tour tick? Start from the beginning. What makes me tick? Yeah. As far as, like, as far as, like, what what makes me keep rotating? Yeah, okay, what keeps you going he be a little bit more specific. <laughs> I think that was that was kind I got of a something uh, that you could say that kept that like you say that something that keeps you ticking. Your family that keeps you ticking. Oh yeah, well, yeah, 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 You got two sons that need you out here. Facts. That's who. That's who. That's who. I need that lighter, bro. You know, those two got you. Those two. Those would be examples of what makes you tick. But like, like, so see here. Start here. Tell us about your life. Start from the beginning. All right. I mean, I had a. I had a. I had a cool childhood. It ain't nothing like how it is now. You know how you had kids, they stay, kids stay in the house. They, they glued on a game and stuff like that. I wasn't like that. Oh, yeah. I was only like that on certain times if it's like, if I'm on punishment or if it's fucked up outside. But other than that, I was, I was adventurous. I was outside, you know. Oh, yeah, like, I was outside too. And I agree. Kids these days really don't go outside. I mean, I, I see some, some outside, but like my nephews and my nieces, they like to watch TV. They like video games. They like the internet. Stuff like TikTok. And honestly, I believe that's our fault. Because we grew up on that. Like, we grew up during the age where the internet was growing. Yeah, when it was just jumping off. Yeah, and people like us, millennials, we we basically, the internet basically grew because of us. Mm-hmm. Millennials made YouTube, Facebook, all these websites. And because of us, right, we're int- we're introducing it to our kids. We're showing our kids the nostalgic stuff that we grew up on, and they're starting to love it and starting to like, hey, I do this, that, and the third. Like mm-hmm. my nephews, they like fighting games, and you know why? Because I taught them all fighting games. See how you the key word you taught them that. Now look at how fucked up the generation is. What are we teaching these kids? Nothing. We're I'm doing saying. basically what our parents did. Most nah, of our parents nah, did. hell you know, no, nah, hell no. Nah, because look, nigga, our parents was watching us. These parents nowadays, they nigga, were too lenient. It's not even that. Are lenient as fuck. It's not even that, nigga. A lot of these parents really don't even pay attention to their kids, nigga. They pay more attention to a motherfucking phone they pay attention than their they kids, kids, for real, for real. And that's why our kids are growing up via the TV. They're learning from. TV, TV shows and TV stars and now we don't have we don't have the best stars now like we used to it ain't what it, it, ain't, it ain't nothing it, like how it, it was back then uh, to we teach our kids certain things bro we teaching them we we teaching them what we was taught in a different type of way it's a lot of distractions out here a lot of distractions number one's on the phone I didn't see somebody walk into a damn pole because they had their head down on the phone. Motherfucker almost got hit by a car because of the phone. I figured, like, if we put our phones down and actually paid attention to our kids and talked to them, it wouldn't be a lot of niggas killing each other right now. Oh, that's so true. It wouldn't be a lot of kids just going into schools or the building just shooting people up. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. It would, it would be less school. You know what? It probably wouldn't be less school shooting because you got to remember, we live in and America is a hateful ass country. I don't know. I don't care how they want to like. They want to say they're not or all that shit. America is a hateful ass country. Hey, you know what, bro? I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. I want to say America is a hateful ass country. It just got some hateful ass people in it. Cause all of this racism. Okay, better. Cause all of this racism. I was thinking about this the other day too, though. Like all of this racism and shit, like. As a matter of fact, I had put a comment on a post on YouTube. I don't give a fuck how you look, smell, think. Nigga, you could be black, beige, brown, red, pink, orange. I don't give a fuck. We still brothers and sisters. We bleed the same way. 
we breathe the same way. Line the motherfucker up. Line everybody up. We are the exact same. Why would you hate me? Because of my skin color? That don't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. It don't. People still hate of the color of your skin, which, you know, a lot of these shooters, shootings that's been happening, it's all been race 